We're back at Willow Springs, and we've got a shootout between a Dutch supercar and a modern version of an American icon. No tops, no driver aids, and tons of power. So stay tuned. On this head-to-head, -head, it's the ultra-exclusive Spyker C8 going up against a 427 Cobra from Superformance. This full-throttle showdown is brought to you by Royal Purple. This is a challenge between two different interpretations on the pure driving experience. We're running them flat out on the track and then lining them up for a head-to-head -head drag race. Here's the specs. The Spyker uses a 4.2-liter Audi V8 with 400 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque while the Cobra's 7-liter Roush has 520 horsepower and 520 foot-pounds. Both cars are light, but the Cobra is 300 pounds lighter, and this Cobra costs half as much as the Spyker. My name is uh, Vinny Russo um, with Spyker North America, and today we're going to go head-to-head -head with a Superformance Cobra. The uh, Spyker is a, is a very rare car. Uh, there's less than 200 worldwide. Uh, it's built in Holland. It's hand-built, all aluminum. One of the uh, unique uh, features about this car and one of the reasons that we really wanted it up against the, uh, the older Cobra is because there are no driver aids in the car. There's no traction control like you would normally get in, in, a, in a car of this price class. You know, the car is only going to react to what Samuel does to it. Uh, it's not going to do anything uh, on its own. The doors on the car open up uh, vertically. Um, they're controlled by the uh, uh, keyless entry system, so as you approach the car, you can actually swing the doors open and then you know you close them manually the pedals are all machined aluminum the interior is all hand stitched leather everything is kind of a throwback from the days that the original company uh, made airplanes in the in the early part of the century it's like driving automotive jewelry hi my name is Carl Lay I'm from Pasadena California today my car is going head-to-head -head against a Spyker C8 and it's gonna kick its butt the car was actually turnkey minus engine and transmission but after we got the car we took it completely apart powder coated all the the chrome uh, to black upgraded the brakes front and rear we took out the stock gauges that come in the superformance model which are smith's gauges and put upgraded gauges in there that are all electronic for the way it drives uh, pretty much is raw horsepower if you're not careful first second even up into third gear you push down the throttle too much it will still turn around very quickly on you if you push down the gas and not watching what you're doing. It's raw horsepower, absolutely. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot faster than the Spyker C8. Even though they've got a lot of horsepower, they don't have as much horsepower. They do have some refinements that the Cobra doesn't have, uh, but I think it's going to be a lot faster through the straightaways and, and uh, overall times. Behind the wheel of these two supercars is Sammy the Crazy Swede Hubinet. He's a pro drifter, factory test driver, and Hollywood stunt driver. He'll hammer these cars on the track and give us his honest opinion of what they're like to drive. Up next, Sammy's gonna hit the track for hot laps. In sophistication or American grind. Stay tuned, throttle jockeys. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Royal Purple is the performance oil that outperforms. In fact, when given the choice, 25 out of 28 of America's top engine builders choose Royal Purple. More horsepower and torque and maximum protection against heat and wear. Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. There is no spark plug more capable of harnessing power than the patented Denso Iridium Power Spark Plug. Denso Iridium Power Spark Plugs. For improved horsepower and better fuel economy on any vehicle. Welcome back to Head to Head Spiker vs. Cobra Battle at Willow Springs. The big track at Willow Springs is an ultra high speed road course. It's two and a half miles with nine turns. Turn eight is the fastest in the US and both of these cars can approach 150 on the front straight. Now let's see what these cars are like to drive. It's time to race. Oh! <laughs> 
Hunt turned a fast lap of 136.31 with an average speed of 93.45 miles an hour. Timing segment compliments of Race Pack. Okay, we're gonna spike at C8. What an interesting car. It's such a unique vehicle. You got no power brakes. It's, uh, it's really a raw power car with modern technology with an Audi 4.2 V8. Nice six gears, manual gearbox. It really feels fancy in here. I, I, I don't feel like I belong here. I'm not using this fancy interior. Sounds great. I just got out of the cold, but it was so loud. This thing comes out pretty sophisticated and obviously much more quiet. The mid-range power of the V is good, but the top fan is just dead. Feels like after 5,500 RPM, it's just a waste. It's very nervous in the front, and it's a progressive power steering, which comes out really awkward sometimes. It's definitely uh, the driver's car, you gotta be on it. The rear end pops out really quick on you. The Spiker was over a second and a half slower with a hot lap of 137.93 and an average speed of 91.90 miles an hour. Now it's time for a real world drag race. No camera tricks, just two pro drivers. Here it goes. The Cobra was brutally quick with an 11.2. The Spiker, a 12.8. Okay, it's time to tally the score and declare a winner. The engine goes to the Roush 427SR with its massive muscle, which means the drag race was the Cobra's too. Handling goes to the Spiker, which is much more refined than the Cobra, which is truly scary. And the quick lap goes to the Cobra. Both cars deliver a pure driving experience, so this is really about personal preference. The Spiker is about refinement, while the Cobra is all about brute power. The kind of power that'll tear your head off when you stab at the throttle. And that's why we take the Cobra any day of the week. So until next time, folks, that's it from head to head.